and the war continues to have an impact here at home too. In Bradenton, there was a school of Russian ballet, but the Ukrainian owners are making a name change. They spoke to 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba about their decision. This Bradenton Ballet School is known for teaching a popular Russian style technique. But the Ukrainian owners say with Russia's war in Ukraine, changing their name now is the right thing to do. Very simple because Russians killing Ukrainians, killing people, not just Ukrainians. As the conflict in Ukraine intensifies with Russia bombing cities daily, Sergei Mikhailov and Daria Fedotova, both former dancers with the National Ballet of Ukraine, had to make a tough and expensive business decision. For 12 years, their studio was known as the School of Russian Ballet. Now they are International Ballet of Florida. How, how we can keep this name? This is aggressive. It's That's no way, fascism. like I said, it's nothing That's against fascism, the Russian people, yes. but it's, I'm sorry, this is, this is wrong. It's no way. They say the rebrand wouldn't change their reputation or passion for teaching and training dancers in the Sarasota Bradenton area, the popular Russian ballet techniques. And we're going to continue with Vaganova method, we're going to continue with this Russian method because we think it's the best and that's what we know and how we know it. The couple says ballet has united people from many backgrounds, but the war is causing division. Russians and Ukrainian was brother and sisters and same like Belarus, yeah. They're like this. Ballet students and their families are contributing supplies and funds towards relief efforts in Ukraine. You know, they all try to support as they can. And that's unbelievable to see how we are all together. And it's definitely Ukraine will win this war. It's no questions. By the way, dancers from IBF will be presenting Giselle Ballet on April 3rd at the Venice Performing Arts Center. It features principal dancers from international ballet companies, including the National Ballet of Ukraine. Some of the proceeds will also be benefiting relief efforts.